please. So we were supposed to meet in Paris, maybe tomorrow or yesterday or today, I don't know. Why do you, why do the planning changes? You don't want to go to Paris? Oh, no, I'm... You prefer Cannes? No, I'm, I'm DJing here tonight. Here tonight? Yes. At the VIP? Yes. My, my friend John Rock and Manny, you know, so I had to... You know how friends are. My friends wanted me to do what I do. And I do what I do. <laughs> and I do what I do. Yes, sir. And George Clinton do what he wants to do. George Clinton is my, uh, my, my godfather. I know. We were talking about in a few minutes. Yeah, he's my phone godfather. So the, the first question is always the same question. But please look, look at me. We are not on MTV. We are on French TV. So please. Can you introduce yourself and tell me who you are? My name is Snoop Dogg, a.k.a. Snoopy Deagle Double Jizzle, the top dog with it all. But a few years back, a couple of years, a few years back, it was Snoop Lion. Oh, it's, it's Snoop Lion, DJ Snoopadelic, Snoopzilla, uh, Snoop Deagle Double, uh, Doggy Dog, Bow Wiggles. But what does it mean for you to get a nickname? Oh, a nickname is a quick name. It's just something that rides what you, you know, that you, you symbolize what you are and who you are accordingly to that name. But today you feel like more than, more uh, Snoop than Calvin? I, I feel more like, like Francois Pierre Cardin. So let's talk about this new record. What's the name of this record? The name of this record is Bush. Bush is produced by Pharrell Williams. It's a 10 song musical roller coaster inside of the mind of Snoop Dogg. It's a funk journey. Uh, special guests on the record Gwen Stefani, Boosie Collins, George Clinton, uh, Charlie Wilson, Stevie Wonder, Pharrell Williams, T.I., Rick Ross, and Kendrick Lamar. But do you feel with this new record that you are back 20 years ago in the good way? I mean, I feel you know, like for, for, for musically, musically. I feel like I'm ahead, not back, because going back is not what we tried to do, but it feels like that as far as we went back with the feeling, not with the sound. And the sound is symbolic to the funk, which was created from back in the day, so we appreciate that, and we know that we're just an extension of the funk, trying to keep it alive and let people know that it is a great feeling to be able to make funk music. 22 years ago, you did this record, your first solo record called Doggy Style. Uh, what do you think? <clears throat> what's your, in your flow? What's particular in your flow? Well, my flow is very melodic on the Doggy Style record, and it was very hardcore, and they had never heard a voice on top of great music saying something representing fun and representing the people and being, you know, being me. You know, a lot of times people have a problem, you know, trying to follow. And I wasn't a follower, I was a leader, so it was easy for people to follow me. But as you may know, French are not speaking English and they're not understanding English, not very well. But uh, what are you talking about in your songs? Are you a consciousness Well, guy? I Singer, I'm conscious. Writer. I'm conscious because I'm awake. But my music is not, you know, preachy or, or or message related or, you know, militant. It's more about people. It's people music. It's music that you relate to, and I feel like that's why the French people relate to it. Whether they understand the words or not, they understand the feeling, and the feeling means more than the words. If you can understand the feeling, then the words are properly put in place by the feeling. Can I say that, uh, because I, 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 I have just listened to your, this new Bush record, uh, can I say, I think, for me, it's more a P-Funk record than a regular, actual hip-hop record. Mm. Well, it wasn't intended. You are more singing than, yes. than uh, rapping. Yes, because I'm known 
to be a hip hop artist, so you would expect me to rap hip hop, hip hop, me and Pharrell, but this record is funk based, so it's supposed to sound like the P phone, because it's the G phone. What's the difference between G funk and P funk? Well, P funk was band orientated with the whole band and everybody playing instruments and everybody on one accord. The G is the gangster, the extension of that, with us playing, you know, drum machines, and still having the background singers and still bringing the funk elements, but more, you know, digital as opposed to analog. If we rewind your life, can you tell me how do you get involved and interesting, interested in music? What was your first contact with music, with your peers, as mm. a child? My first contact with music as a child would be with my mother, riding with my mother. You know, she would always play, you know, good music. I don't remember what the first song was I heard, but it was some good, good shit. And then she had a bar at the house that would play 8-track cassettes. And the 8-track cassettes would always have good music on it. So I just remember hearing great voices, good music, melodies, and it felt good to me. And they say if it feel good to you, it must be good for you. 